So, um, this has been a long time in the making, and it's very different yes. from the other location, and it's really bright and airy. And so, well, this is uh, 20,000 square feet, and this museum rivals, you know, all the other museums that you have in LA. I mean, maybe you know, the Getty, you get the big ones, but the ones of this size, this is a top quality museum, and uh, it's going to be. I mean, this is. What the people of the Antelope Valley have to realize is this is their museum. This is what it's here for. And come and use it and enjoy it. You don't have to drive down to LA. And we have some fantastic artwork that's being brought in that the museum actually owns now. And yeah, it's it's just uh, it's just very exciting. I'm almost speechless. <laughs> so why is that important? Um, well, does the, the city have a museum? Well, not the city. It's that the community has a museum because you know the city you know when the city spends money it's not our money it's grandma down the street's money and and the arts are so important to a well-balanced community i mean it's what makes you live and breathe i mean could you imagine walking to a restaurant that was just solid cement and they just plopped out a paper plate and slopped the stuff on there it, it might be the best tasting food around but it's the atmosphere it's it's, it's our soul and, um, and so I think the arts, at least for me being an artist too, it's very important for a community to have a place to be able to go and you don't have to drive down to LA to get Now, how many people and children do you anticipate that you're gonna get through here, um, say in a month or a year? A lot. <laughs> and is there admission for that museum art gallery? Is it free? Uh, you'd have to check with the, I don't know all the details on me right now. <laughs> I don't answer that, let's get the in the stages of being planned from the beginning and... I think we've been working on it for a number of years. Uh -huh. So how many years have we been working on it? Uh, at least since 2010. Yeah, at least yeah. 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 So I know it's been in the works, the ideas, you know, the thought process. You know, from the time that we initiated the boulevard, you know, we tried to create this as an artist's location. So here you have artist lofts, uh, you know, right next door. You have the museum, you have the Western Museum, you have our Performing Arts Center, which is just an amazing performing arts center. You have the Lemley Boulevard Theater, Independent Film Theater, right here. I mean. Okay, now you did have an, a museum before. Yeah. Yes. Um, why was that decision made that you needed to make something bigger, better? It was a museum that's sort of a stopgap of really having a real museum. That was okay. I mean, it was a place to go and see things, but it wasn't a real museum. There's a lot of things that go on in the museum that really needs to be taken care of, and, uh, and this is it. A great ex exhibition on the Boulevard to create a destination, a heart for the city. And what has come about now, when we're still not done, has, is beyond my wildest dreams. And it's just, it's just amazing. Tears in my eyes thinking about it. See? Okay. Other questions? Go!